All right, welcome back, YouTube. Uh, we're doing the next day follow-up on this anodized cast uh, metal, and uh, we're also going to be clear coating the helmet tonight, which I did not do that uh, on camera. Actually, that off camera. Uh, one of those there's where you get a wild hair up your ass. You just kind of really have to do it, you know. It's kind of one of those things like, yeah, got to. So yeah, I went ahead and did that, shot it, and turned out really nice. And strange part, it turned out almost the same color as my Harley was brand new in 1975 sunburst metallic blue uh, which I'll show that here in just a few minutes but anyways uh, here is the the chain guard that I did in the cast metal blue turned out really really nice uh, a few little spots where some rust came through uh, let's see if I can get it up close here right here couple of spots that came through that showed up after cleaning it one right there so there are a couple little things that did show up uh, other than that it turned out really really nice um, like again you know right here where the, the spray adhesive was at um, other than that it turned out super nice now this piece the air scoop still see the runs right here and I'm thinking maybe a um, maybe like a either a four zero steel wool might take help take it out. I don't know. Gonna find out. Uh, maybe I'll really shoot that. We'll find out. We're gonna do some experimenting on that piece. Chain guard. I think I'm gonna pretty much leave it the way it is. Um, so like I said. It goes behind the saddlebag, so you don't really see it, other than some of it, the front part of it. Do I know it's there? Yes. Do I, am I like that? Not really. Um, that's not kind of my deal. But, then again, you know, what do you do? Okay, uh, here's the helmet that I shot last night off camera. And I did a, like, just a quick one on it. And the crazy part... My, my Harley was almost that same color, 1975 when it rolled off the the show, off the factory line from Harley. Uh, I'm going to do a clear coat on it real quick, um, and I'll bring y'all back for that as I'm shooting the clear coat. So we'll give it a few minutes here, get the can shaken up, and we are going to use the Duplicolor uh, Wheel Gloss Clear Coat. They say it's got like a 500 degree uh, protection or something like Give it a shot. We'll see how it holds up over the next couple of months. Maybe revisit it. We may wind up changing the clear coat or something like that. So give me a few minutes to uh, get this shaken up and then I'll bring y'all back. Okay, we are back and we're fixing to shoot a clear coat on this helmet. Uh, again, this is the Duplicolor Wheel Gloss Clear Coat. Um, they say it protects up to 500 degrees. Uh, the pecan says withstands intermediate temperatures up to 250. So, so uh, you know, we're going to give this try. I'm not going to say a lie about it. O'Reilly said 500. They're saying 250. We'll go by the can. Either way, it's just going on a helmet. It's not actually going on a motor. Uh, same thing with the uh, uh chain guard and stuff like that it's not actually going on the motor so i think pieces like that would be okay uh, of course maybe a different if you're going to put it on a motor like this was with the vh uh high temp header uh, flat black and then the silver and then the base coat and then we're going to do it the clear so i think something like that i think you'd be okay these older harleys being air cooled they do put out some heat um Oil temperatures can vary uh, about between 250, 300, 400 degrees, depending on how hard you're riding and how fast you're moving. So just keep that in mind if you try to do this with, you know, put anything on like this on a Harley. Um, I would like to see somebody actually try this Duplicolor metal cast on a set of shovelhead rocker box covers to see if it holds up, uh, especially if you go through the right steps with the you know, the, the temperature, heat, flat, you know, and then the, 
the coloring and you know everything else in a high heat clear. I'd like to see how that holds up. I have my own sick reasoning for that, believe it or not. That one time when I was to rebuild my Harley, I was actually going to paint it black and blue. And uh, I'd actually thought about making my motor half black, half blue. You know, I'll do the, the cylinders in uh, black and the heads in a blue, or vice versa, and blacking out the motor and stuff. But don't know if I really want to do all that. So, we're going to shoot the uh, first coat on there, pretty much a tap coat, and uh, go from there. Got a good coverage of tack coat on there. I'm gonna let it sit for about 10 minutes, something rather just get good and tacky before I uh, do another clear coat on it. We're gonna go from there. We might just go ahead and uh, we might go ahead and clear coat the chain guard tonight. Uh, like I said, either way, I'm still got you know I'm satisfied with it. So, and you're not really gonna see it unless you go to a major show and really get picky. And yes, I love doing bike shows. Bike shows, semi-shows, shows, stuff like that. Big advocate for both motorcycle riders, 18-wheeler drivers. Uh, so, uh, doing auto body work, love doing this stuff. So, I'll bring y'all back here in a few minutes, and we'll go from there. All right, we are back for a second coat. Been about, about six, seven minutes. And uh, actually, real surprised, one coat of clear on it. Just a tack clear actually shined it up a lot. The helmet is it perfect? No. This helmet is by no means perfect in any way. Uh, like I stated earlier, this helmet has been with me for a long, long time. Um, I want to say close to 20 years or right at 20 years. I think I was 21 or 22 when I bought it. And I was working down at White Rock Custom, like I stated in an earlier video. So that helmet's seen some miles, it's been around. We're going to see how this holds up and uh, give it a try, you know. So, we'll find out. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Paint games will sometimes do that to you. Like I said, I'm just doing this in my garage. I'm not no shop or automotive industry thing. You know, automotive paint booth or anything like that. So, this is all test and have fun with it. See what goes on. Okay. give it a couple more minutes uh about another five six minutes and then uh we'll uh do a third coat we'll call it good so and we'll just let it sit here and dry but as you can tell i mean it shined it right on up that is almost that is just cool as hell i'm actually kind of liking this metal cast May have to do another video. I may get a wild hurt my ass to do the saddlebags on my uh, on my Indian. Uh, of course, the Indian will be going up for sale pretty soon. So the guy's already told me that uh, he wants to change out the saddlebags to leather, and I can keep the hard bags. So uh, I kind of want to keep them smoke gray though. So I haven't really decided. We may do some paneling in there or something. You know, maybe a smoke gray with a cast metal blue insert or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Bring y'all back in a few minutes. Uh, we are back. Uh, sorry about that. It's a little bit longer, about five or six minutes. Um, I had to take care of some stuff inside the house. Uh, anyways, so we're going to do a third coat and let it dry. See how it comes out. So far, it has turned out really, really shiny. And 
I'm actually kind of really liking that. I mean, there's some few imperfections that's from in this, inside the helmet, but that was from uh, all the years of abuse. So, we'll find out here. Yeah, you know, I was uh, talking, I'm mumbling to myself there for a minute. Anyways, uh, there's a few imperfections, but it's not in the paint. It's in the helmet. I mean, like I said, this helmet's 20 years old, and I've had it with me all these years, so. Uh, we're going to shoot a third coat on it, and uh, let it sit, and let it dry up. Go from there. I mean, I'm really liking this. This is actually really cool. It's almost... Like I said, it's almost the exact same color my Harley was, brand new. Sunburst metallic blue. That is very, very awesome. So, we're going to shoot the third coat and we'll be done with it. Okay, well we got the third coat on it. I'm gonna let it dry. Um, I did notice a few little dust particles, but I'm out here in the garage. I'm not in the shops, as that's been clearly stated multiple times. A few imperfections, but that's all in the helmet itself. And other than that, I mean, from a distance, it's freaking awesome. You wouldn't really notice it. I don't know if you could wet sand and buff this or not um i don't know if i really want to try that so i'm just gonna let this sit and dry and uh i'll bring y'all back on a, a part two just to follow up here in a little while and uh see how it turned out as always keep the rubber down shiny side up i'll see y'all on the road take it easy